Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So welcome to my new passionate video. Uh, we're going to be talking about all the new stuff that came out. I literally just woke up and I was just hit by a whole bunch of news. Um, basically they announced all the, all the new passion. It's kind of weird because it's only a Monday today. They usually announce these things on Wednesdays. Um, but that actually makes me think that maybe they're going to have the update sooner. Like right after this, the Sarah event ends, um, they're probably going to have an update and we're gonna we're gonna be able to um, we're gonna be able to super evolve our monsters. So I'm gonna be going through all the patch notes. Um, this is on the Monster Super League official Facebook page. I'm gonna be including the links to all these pages um, below in the description. You can definitely check them out. So uh, yes, maintenance will be coming Tuesday, and which which will be tomorrow. And then you know after the Sarah event ends, um, you, we should be we should be hit with a like a server maintenance and then um afterwards they'll they'll have the new patch out um so what they're adding with the new patch is super evolution system this is kind of like i if you if you don't know what this is um it's basically like the you know the, the evolution thing i'll talk about it in, the, in another um another tab there's a there's a lot of uh i have a lot of a lot of stuff prepared here they they actually announced quite a lot of stuff um there's also a light the the light contract um the the light nat 5 contract this is between the odin the valk and the arthur they also made some changes to the odin and the valk so we're going to be taking a look at that as well because it kind of made my video yesterday completely useless um because of these changes so there's also going to be new new astromons um there's going to be the the uh or well, the Horan and Ran, and there's also going to be a Light Dark Birdie. So this is probably going to be the next um, normal Rebirth monster. And then there's there's also the min Mini Sarah is ending. Um, there's actually supposed to be another monster that's that's supposed to be added, but I'll I'll actually talk about that a little bit later. So there's also um, clan clan adjustments that are going to be happening. Basically. Uh, Clan instead of 30 slots, it's gonna be 40 now. So my, my clan will be able to recruit 10 more people. Um, we were we're mostly a PvP clan. If you if you want to join, um, we mostly do PvP. We're not too good in Titans, but we're like we're like at least top 20 in PvP. So so we're we're kind of we're kind of all right. Um, there's also gonna be um, reward box will additionally be provided depending on the clan conflicts battle result. During clan conflict match screen, you'll be able to check your ally and opponent's number of battles left. Interesting. Clan conflict uh, limited battle time mark will be changed to countdown from count up. So this is just some visual improvements. And then um, clan conflict ranking will be changed to top ranking. I have no idea what the heck that means. Regional defense boss slaying message will be marked as standard of level 10. No idea what that means either. Clan conflict request complete message will be shown. I think these are just a lot of visual stuff that they're they're fixing um, to make the the screen look a little bit better. There's also fix they're also fixing a lot of bugs. This has been going on for the longest time. You guys know the the bug where the pen pen attacks and then they just completely disappear off the map. They become invisible. Yeah, they're they're finally fixing that. This has been going on for quite a long time. Um, the other ones I really haven't haven't had any. Uh, I didn't never ran into these errors before. Um, some UI adjustments. So these are actually some some balancing, some buffing of, of certain monsters. They're basically buffing the light Valk and Odin, which are the two of them are going to be contract heroes. And the Valk is going to be changed from uh, one turn stun 100% to 100% shock, which makes her like just hands down better than than Light Arthur. Um, light Arthur is still more offensive, but like. Like the shock is just like you know it, it's they both have a hundred percent shock. She has a better second skill, and uh, I guess they're kind of different monsters because the light Arthur is like a pure attacker, and then she's like kind of hybrid. Um, but I, I think overall she's definitely better than the light Arthur now. And then the light Odin, instead of having sap on her first skill, her first skill is gonna be changed to aggression, which makes her probably. Um, yeah, it just it just completely flipped things around because I I think I'm probably gonna take Odin now because the aggression um, is really really strong, and she also has a heal based on her like based on max HP. So basically, you just stack a whole bunch of HP on her, and then she becomes this like insane um, 
you know, damage dealer slash healer slash tank. Like, it just becomes really, really OP. Uh, so I, I think I think I'm probably going to get Light Oda now because of the aggression. And, you know, I definitely do think aggress aggressors are, like, the most OP thing in, in Monster Super League. Like, they're, they're just so good. Like, aggr aggression is just super, super strong. Especially in the late game where, like, everybody has, like, really high resistance. You know how, like, you know, shock can still be resisted, but, like, aggression is just pure damage and then um she she actually just becomes another threat that you can have on 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 your team as well and if you have her as a variant like if you have a variant odin this would be the sickest thing because you would have like a a light odin hp lead like for for pvp like a max fit 45 percent hp lead and then with her um having aggression and then you pair her up with like you like like if you're super lucky you have like a light um light jean that would be super sick because you would have like two hp aggressors and then they would be hitting like super super hard because they both have hp aggression on first skill and then you put put in another like light shiva and then the light shiva is gonna gonna have like uh um you know he, he has aggression on his second skills like, like and he has like a shit ton of hp so he becomes like this ticking time bomb so like if you don't kill him before he gets his aoe off he just like wipes the enemy team um so yeah, like I, I think Light Odin's definitely definitely top like best choice now. And she's also still very, very good for like tanking golems. Um so I think for new players she's also very good. And for late game players, like really, really late game players, she's also like the best now, in my opinion. It's just it's just uh it's just it's 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 based on my experiences. It's just my opinion. Don't you can you can still take the other two. Like you really can't go wrong with any of them. They're they're all three of them are very very good, um, and you should really just choose which one you want. Like you don't you don't necessarily have to pick the one that you that's gonna like benefit you the most. Um, you can literally just take take any of them, and they, it's not really gonna affect your game too much because all three of those monsters aren't really like progression monsters. You don't really need any of them to progress um, unless you're like maybe stuck on. On going into B10, that maybe if you take Light Odin, you can use her as like a solo tank, uh, or maybe a dual tank. Like if you if you have a Light Vic, you can pair up pair her up with Light Vic, and then you can run like another Sapper and another Nuker, um, and you'll be able to to do Golems B10 pretty well. So I think she's probably like top choice now. Like she's definitely most recommended out of out of the three of them now, but it's it's up to you. It really isn't gonna affect your game too much. Um, whichever one that you pick so just just follow your heart all right just follow your heart okay so um, this is the the Korean site this is cafe neighbor and um, we're gonna I can't really translate these but we actually got got to take a we god damn I can't talk we got to we we got to look at some some pictures um, there's some new monsters this is the evolution system that they showed in the video and the these are like the new icons for um, the new monsters, and then this is the light dark birdie, and then these are gonna be um, new monsters. I think they're called Chloe. Someone actually on on uh, Reddit translated these, so I'll, I'll be taking a look at their skills very very soon. It's actually suspected that these monsters are gonna be like package monsters, similar to the Mari. Uh, the reason for this is because there's like one normal element and then a light dark element, so. Um, you know, it, it could be like you buy a package and you get one of these, and then if you buy like ten packages, you have a chance to get either one. You know, similar similar to the the Mari that um, package that we got before, and you're like able to buy these with astrogens. But this is this is just uh, speculation. We don't know for sure. We won't we won't know until the patch actually comes out. But uh, we'll we're gonna have to wait for that. And they actually have pretty good skills. I'll be taking a look at them as well. Um, so this is the Super Evolution Guide. This is from Monster Super League's um, official Facebook. And they, basically, um, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is collect some stones, and then um, you go into the lab laboratory, and then after you collect it, like, all the materials, it's not just one type of material. You'll need, like, um, a lot of different types of materials to, to, to feed into your, like, Miho, and then your Miho can evolve. Uh, there's some pictures over here. This is on Cafe Naver as well. I, I'm I, unable to translate these because these are pictures. But as you can see, like this thing is only obtainable on certain maps on Extreme. Um, and then you know you're able to get this stone after you get all these materials. So you, you're gonna need like five of these, a hundred of these, and then it fuses into one stone. 
And then um, from the from the looks of it, from from we what we see here, you're gonna need 30 of these in order to um, evolve them. So it's gonna take a while to collect all the materials, you know, um, combine them together into these stones, and then um, you, you're gonna need to collect 30 of them in order to evolve your your miho, which which might take a while. I'm not really too sure how long it's gonna take, um, but. It's kind of interesting because I've I've always kind of wanted a crafting system in Monster Super League. I thought it'd be really really fun if you like go to different maps and collect different materials and then um, you know craft some stuff. So you're you're not like always farming the same map. It kind of feels like you're it, it feels like you're going on an adventure, something like that. Um, so yeah, this is the this is the stat chart for um, this is this is on the official Monster Super League forum. Um, this is the stat chart for the 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 new super evolutions you can see how their stats increase uh, this is for the dark miho she actually gets quite a lot of hp a little bit of defense which is kind of all that matters attack and and recovery doesn't really matter um the light miho becomes a lot more tanky as well and then like these are these are like almost nat 5 stats i think yeah they, they basically are nat 5 stats like they they become extremely tanky um after you you upgrade them and Water Miho is actually going to be really, really good for, um, like, sapping Golden Speed 10 and stuff. And maybe if you have her for BA, she's also going to be really, really nice. Like, she gets she gets a 300 extra attack, which is really nice. And, you know, through her skill books, she actually gets a 25% extra attack, um, you know, in her in her basic attack, in her 3-star skill. So, she actually hits really, really hard, like, with just 2,300 attacks. So, you can, like, ba basically um, build her as a nuker. And she's also, like really tanky with her base stats so you don't really need to put that much um, hp or defense on her she's a balance type and she actually has pretty good stats um the wood miho actually becomes a really nice attacker she's, she's got like 2900 attack really really tanky not too much defense but it's actually fine but like this is a this is a three star monster you know so if you have like some some extra wood wood uh essences you can actually feed them into your wood one as well like i think all these are, are definitely like kind of worth um worth feeding materials into and then Fire Miho is actually pretty good as well now because she has like attack down. And then with skill books, she actually gets like an 80% um, attack down, which makes her pretty good for Titans. So if you happen to have some like fire essences, you can actually feed them into them. I don't think I don't think any of the Mihos are um, are useless in any way. I think I think most of them are, are really useful. Um, the strong ones, th the strongest one is definitely Dark Miho. It's probably gonna take a while to like uh, uh, super evolve a whole bunch of Dark Mihos, but I, I think it'll I think we'll be fine. I think. Uh, it's gonna like give us give us something to work towards. I think this this system looks really really nice. Oh shit, my leg just went numb. What the fuck is going on? Holy shit! Oh shit. <laughs> um. All right. So this is the this is the light heroes contract. Um. They actually gave it. What the fuck? Okay. My my leg just went completely numb. Um. This is a light hero contract, and um. This is. You, you basically you just pick one of these and then the, the contract starts when you're 35 and it completes once you're level 55 or 45 um, and it takes 11 days to complete the contract so this is basically like similar like similar to the old contract where you have to log in for 11 days straight probably I'm um, I'm speculating I, I think based on the past contract I think this is probably what's gonna be happening so basically you um, log in for 11 days, which is pretty easy. Like, if you're playing Monster Super League every day, um, you should be able to complete the contract. And then after the 11 days, you're going to be able to get your free Light Dark Monster. Again, you, you can you can choose any of them that you want. Um, you don't have to you don't have to necessarily choose what you think is the best one. It's not really going to affect your game too much. Just just keep that in mind and and follow your heart. All right, just follow your heart. Um. Yeah, and these are these are just some pictures from the Korean site. It's basically the same thing. It's kind of similar to the old contract. You basically you choose one, it pops up, and then um, you log in for 11 days, and then you get complete these. It actually gives quite a lot of gold. Like this, this all together is like a million gold. Um, wait, is my math right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, this is like 1.5 million gold, which is which is quite a lot. And then you also get your um, your free free light dark nat five um, or light nat five. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so the last thing is this is um, the Chloe and Birdie skills trans translated on Reddit by Lucia Nun. Um, shout out shout out to 
shout out to um to 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 um i mean thank you for translating this i wouldn't be able to read this i don't even know where where the chloe skills were written i couldn't find find them on cafe naver either so i was like i, I wasn't sure i wasn't sure where uh where all of it was, but um, as as you can see here, the light birdie, the light and dark birdie are actually really really strong. Like the light birdie, he's got um, it's basically an attacker type. He's got a decent amount of HP, um, pretty high attack, like three point one k is is pretty good, and then um, okay amount of defense for for an attacker. And he's he's a morale boost um, predator, so that's that's really really nice because you can use them for for farming. Um, morale boost predator is. It's just nice. I think she's kind of similar to like Light Sierra, but like I think Light Sierra is still better because Battle Rush is better than Morale Boost. Um, but this is like a normal Rebirth monster, so it's it's much much easier to get the birdies and much much easier to um, you know skill them up or not skill them up, Evil Three them. Um, do b birdies have skill books? I don't think birdies have skill books. But yeah, I think that's I think it's pretty interesting. Um, you know, the birdies do look really nice. The dark birdie is is actually much, much better because the dark birdie is an HP aggressor with 4.4k, like, uh, not 4.4, uh, 44k HP and 2k, att like, attack doesn't matter, um, but only 1.9k defense, so not a lot of defense. But I think um, the dark birdie, or especially, like, aggressors that, like, just random aggressors are really, really nice now because you can kind of use them for clan battles. I think aggressors work well against any team comp you can basically if you have them gemmed very well you can bring them into any fight and they'll they'll usually win um so i think i think dark birdie is really really nice as as a m another monster that you can just grab i would definitely like try to grab like three of these maybe i would try to like grab i'll try to grab four um so like if i really need to i can use one for defense although i probably don't need to because I, I have a lot of like really good uh, defense mons already. So I'll probably like try to grab three so I can use three of them in um, in, in PvP, you know, just uh, just as a as a random um, HP aggressor. So she can, so it can do a bit of damage and then it can also heal. So it actually provides some sustain. Um, it's, it's pretty good. It's just d definitely not bad. And they have a, they have an HP lead as well. If, if you guys don't know, birdies have a, have a global HP lead. Um, so that's actually really, really nice. Like, birdies have a super strong, like... I think it's not... It's pretty low, because... Um, they have, like, two-star counterparts, so it's only, like, 20%. But it's still pretty nice. Like, if you have no HP lead, you can actually use the Dark Birdie, and then, like, provide an HP lead. And then he's also an HP aggressor. So she, so he's kind of like a mini Light Odin now. So that's actually pretty good. Um, the, the other monster is the Chloe. And the Chloe is, I think it's probably going to be like a package monster. Um, the Fire Chloe has a really, really interesting skill where she has a 50% chance to heal 50% of her own max HP, which might make her really, really annoying to kill. But she's mostly tanky, so she just doesn't really have any anything besides that. And then she also has a, a heal, um, adrenaline heal, so that's actually pretty good, and it's AOE as well, so sh she can heal for like, if she's hitting like 4 units, she can heal for like 40% of um, allies max HP, so she actually makes her a pretty good healer. Um, Light Chloe is, the Light Chloe has 30k HP, 2 point, so Light Chloe is actually pretty tanky, she's got a morale boost and a 70% shock, so th she's kind of similar to like the Light Yeti, or the Light, um, Light, what, what's it called? What's the other monster? The one you fuse to, to make the Shiva fusion. Rocky. Yeah, yeah. She's kind of similar to like the light Rocky. The Rocky has like a 50% two turn shock, but she has like a 70% um, one turn shock, which might make her shock a little bit more reliable. And I think she's, this one's, this monster is mostly for like PvP defense. Pretty good on like a full light team, especially if you can like put her on a pugilist set. She becomes like ex extremely annoying because she can just keep morale boosting, and then you just build her really, really tanky, and then like she she'll try to shock the the enemy, and then if they resist the shock, they might still have a chance to get stunned. So it becomes like really, really strong. Um, and then the the dark Chloe has. 26k HP, um, 2.7k attack, and 2.6k defense. So this is this is actually very very balanced stats, and she has a 70% chance to attack um, to pr 
do an attack debuff for two turns, and she also has Courageous Strike. So she's very, very similar to the, the Water Indra, uh, but the Water Indra has this 80% chance for a three-turn attack down, so she's, she's kind of like a mini Water Indra um, with balanced stats, so that's actually pretty good. I think she's... She's a good monster. Like, all Courageous Strike monsters are really, really strong for Titans. Um, if you guys don't know, like, Courageous Strike is just insanely strong. Like, the 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 difference in DPS between, like, a monster with Courageous Strike and, and ones without on Titans is just worlds apart. Like, it, like, like a well gem Courageous Strike monster will literally do, like, ten times more damage than, like, other, um, other random nukers. Um, unless they're like single target nukers, like Dark Gatito, because Dark Gatito just does a shit ton of damage on, on Titan anyways, just because of how much um, how much single target damage they actually do, um, if they do get their actives up. But like compared to most normal attackers, like like just anything that you can get in the game, um, like just random shit, like I don't know, like Wood Anu or some shit like that, if you compare that to like a monster with Courageous Strike, like with Pinolo, um, the the Pinolo will do do like ten times more damage than the Anu, um, so like Courageous Strike monsters are really really strong. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Like they they also have a crit damage lead, so that, that's actually pretty good. Um, but besides that, it's it's mostly I think we're probably gonna have to buy these with like package, like it's gonna be like a package mon. Yeah, you you're gonna have to buy these with Astro Gems. I'm guessing, or it, it could be that they're gonna be an event mon. But we just ended the. We just ended the uh, Sarah event, and they're making us farm all these essences for Super Evolution. So I really, really doubt that they're gonna make a another event where we have to farm monster monsters. Like that's that's probably gonna be too much. Like people are gonna go absolutely insane. Uh, but these monsters definitely do look really cute, and they're really well designed. So like I think they're probably gonna be trying to sell these as a as a package monster, um, which will still be nice. Like if you're a whale, you can definitely buy these and, and support the game. I have no, uh, nothing against that. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So I'll include all these links below. You can definitely go and check them out. Um, you, if you have Google Chrome, you can actually use Google Chrome to translate the Korean pages. But um, a lot of these are pictures, so you can't actually translate the pictures. But it's still fine um, because on, on the official site, they actually do have the translations, but but they don't have the pictures. So I, I decided to go on Cafe Neighbor to look at the pictures. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions on which uh, light monster you, you should choose or, or whatever, uh, you can you can definitely leave me a comment. I'll I'll reply to you before the before the patch actually does come out, and then you can kind of make up your your mind before then. Um, it really shouldn't like don't don't be too stressed about which one you should pick. It really doesn't matter too much because all three of those monsters aren't really gonna help you that much in, in progression. Um, they're mostly for like PvP, so and PvP monsters you can literally use anything. Like as long as you have very very good gems, you can pretty much beat anyone with anything. Um, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter too much there either. So that's pretty much it. Um, really really excited for the patch. I'm I'm so hyped. Like I I wanna I wanna start farming, start start grinding these things. Like I don't know. I I it's like it's like all. It, what I've always wanted in the game, um, two things I've always wanted in the game. One is like I want to be able to change the appearance of my monsters to like back to their evil two form. Um, that's that's one of the things I've always wanted. The other thing is like I've always wanted a crafting system. I think a crafting system would have been really really nice. I was actually um, talking to like I think it was a few months ago. I didn't really have time to really um, organize it, but I actually had this idea where I wanted to get a whole bunch of like streamers and, and YouTubers together and then like um, kind of combine our communities and then try to like try to make like an official proposal on like a new um, system or something that we could put into the game. Um, it was mostly about like it was it was going to be like a made with a crafting system as well. Uh, we were going to call it Project Ether, which actually sounds really, really cool. And but I don't think I have time. I really have time now um, to to really really put that together but maybe in the future we can we can try i can try again um but i i always wanted to try like you know like you know i think the developers really do listen to the players so i thought like maybe if we can get the community like a big enough community together to like make like an official proposal like they'll actually consider putting that into the game but i was thinking of making something like with a crafting system and then having like a um equipable item similar to like if you you guys ever played like wow um you guys know how like trinkets work? Sometimes like 
um, you know, trinkets have like unique effects where um, you like if you hit something and like it summons something or like you hit something and then like it procs and it gives you like bonus stats for like a s 20 seconds or some shit like that. Um, you know, like how trinkets have unique effects or some some trinkets are like you can activate them. But I was thinking of like having something similar to like a trinket in addition to the gems and then you just kind of put them slot them into your monsters and then they're like crafted with other other things and you have to like kind of um, get all the materials together to craft them and then what they provide is actually like defensive passives because I think that's that's the that's the other thing that I think would make monster super league super exciting um, because like a lot of times when I go into fights especially in like PvP and stuff um, I already know how the fight is going to turn out before the fight even begins like I know I know um, if I go in the first turn you know the, the potential of them hitting which monster uh, which monster they're gonna hit and then you know in worst case scenario what what they could do in best case scenario what they could do and then like you know on first turn on second turn and then i can basically like before i even start the fight the the whole entire fight has already played out in my head um so i literally just go in and i i basically go with my game plan and then sometimes like in the in the absolute worst case scenario like where they like pugilist stun you like three turns in a row um you do you do lose but like that the chances of that happening is like very very low well i was thinking like to make PvP more interesting, like there needs to be um, some some strategy, like some some type of like defensive passives on your monsters that would make things really really exciting. Because you can like maybe equip a special type of trinket on a certain type of monster, and then um, that monster will have this this passive that the trinket provides, and then you can kind of customize your monsters depending on like what type of strategy you want to kind of go for, and then you kind of you can like kind of cheese people, and then they'll think like you're gonna you're gonna do something, and then like that monster does something really really unexpected, and then they they lose the fight. I think that will be really really fun. Uh, but I was thinking of doing like making a proposal a while ago, but I, I don't think I have the <laughs> I really have the time to do this now. Um, but yeah, maybe in the future, maybe maybe in the future we can we can get a, get the whole community together and like make a make a official proposal to the the developers and stuff um but yeah i'm really excited I'm, I'm super super hyped about this this new uh this new update it's gonna be huge like that this alone was good enough but you know with them giving light contracts and then like, like like there's so much good news and then the new monsters that are gonna be out like these all four of these monsters are super strong like they're they're all really good maybe not the fire one but the fire one's may basically gonna just be fed into the light dark ones oh shit oh my god i just kicked the table um but yeah uh that's that's pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out